back again. <laughs> so in a lot of my videos, you know, when I'm doing tips and tricks, I'm trying to get everything out there, I put a lot of information into them. And I realize I kind of, I put it in videos, but it's kind of like as a back burner issue. And a lot of people don't know how to actually find their macros and calculate their own macros to like what ratios they should be eating in a day. I've been using one keto calculator since I started keto and it's never led me wrong. I've been on a steady downward decline of weight and good health. So I'm going to share this calculator with y'all real quick. It's called the Keto Buddy Calculator. I will link it below. It'll be the top link. And right below that, because the Keto Calculator, the Keto Buddy Calculator, asks for your BMI. And a lot of people don't know it. Below that, I'll put a BMI calculator. And all that one does is ask for your um, height and your weight. And it'll give you kind of a body fat percentage. And you just put that into your Keto Buddy Calculator, which will ask you your gender, your age, your height, your weight. And, um your body mass index. So you just put that number from the other calculator in that number. And then it'll ask how many carbs. 20 grams of carbs is what you want to put in there. 20. That's it. And down below it will give you four totals. What you need to maintain your weight, one to lose a small amount of weight over a long period of time, the moderate calorie deficit, which is the one I use that I would recommend, and a large calorie deficit, which I don't really think people should do because keto is pretty healthy and you need plenty of calories, fat, and protein. Also, over time, you will hear you don't need as much fat when you get smaller, and that's true. But if you plug in your new height and weight, shut up, till it, your new height and weight, and oh, your new weight, anyway, your height should be relative, relatively on track, but your new stats, your new weight, every 10 to 15 pounds you lose, it'll give you a new set of macros to follow if you follow the, the moderate thing. And you can just change your... Um, your macros on my fitness pal and the third link below in the description will be a video from another fella who I don't exactly agree with but he can easily and quickly show you how to change your macros on my fitness pal to suit your needs so every 10 to 15 pounds you lose plug it into your uh, keto cal keto buddy calculator and so save it bookmark it use it <laughs> and it'll tell you what your new macro should be for each time and how much fat, protein, and carbohydrates, always 20 or less, that you should be eating in a day. And as you go down, the amount of fat you get will go down, but also the amount of calories, protein. And my carbs have went down by two. So, like, usually I'm supposed to get 18 to 20, depending on what I set my macros at. But I'm also only five foot tall, well, five foot one. And I shouldn't probably be eating that many anyway. But I still go to the 20, and you see today the 23, and I did not get kicked. So just keep it in that range pretty close. Sorry. Eat more vegetables. <laughs> Eat meats. Stay away from all the other crap. Except for, you know. Alright, y'all. Y'all know me. Meat, eggs, cheese, real butter, coconut oil, olive oil, that kind of thing. What I leave out? Green vegetables. I leave those out because I always forget to eat them. But eat them. They're good for you. And you don't really have to count too many of the carbs with the green leafy vegetables. Eat a lot of those. Consider them freebie carbs. Kind of. <laughs> Much love to y'all. Use those three links below. It'll help you. It helps me. And it's great. It works. <laughs> Bye, y'all.